Hi guys, Chelsea with Crush Customs. I'm here at Upfix with my good friend Ernest. That's right. And I brought you another problem today. Okay. What so is I'm it? gonna see what you can help me with. So I've had a lot of transportation companies come in that we've done older model vehicles right. where we're doing full interior refreshers. Right. And they're coming to me with a lot of lighting issues. Um, we had one in particular that we had a, a power drain and we we're trying to figure out where it was coming from. Mm -hmm. And come to find out, this seems to cause a lot of problems. So what exactly does it control and like why are so many of them failing? What you're referring to is the LCM, which is the light control module. So with select Fords, Lincolns, and Mercury's, so you have the Ford Crown Vic, Lincoln Town Car, uh, which is a popular limousine, mm -hmm. and uh, Mercury Marauder and Grand Marquis. So this particularly focuses on the lighting controls. So you have the headlights, churning signals, interior lights, and what issues you might have is the headlights not working, they work intermittently, uh, the interior state lights stay on all the time, or the exterior lights stay on all the time. So when you turn the ignition off, your headlights might still be on. And typically it's this LCM failing and it's not necessarily due to heat. A lot of components, uh, computer modules that are under the hood could fail because of heat. This typically is just from wear and tear and from those relays um, doing their function of operating off and on uh, and they eventually fail over time. So it's really over uh, due to age and just wear and tear of them just being on at all times. And a lot of these vehicles, they are on the road for decades already since 1996. So. You can imagine that the circuitry inside is already failing. So I think my customers are gonna be really excited to know that this is something that can be repaired and it doesn't have to be replaced. So what do you guys do to make that happen? So on this LCM, the relays are soldered in and there's a multiple array of relays inside and it's not as easy as just simply replacing it and putting another one on, then you're back on the road. These we have to desolder. So, you know, other people might just replace a single relay on it and just have it fixed, but we don't take that chance. We replace all the relays inside and that we do a full bench test uh, to make sure that it's functional, it's working and close it up and have it back on the way to you. Why would I not just go to a junkyard and find a, a replacement or buy one new from the factory? Why wouldn't I do that versus repairing it? Well, if you go to the junkyard and you try to find a used one with a similar part number or interchangeable part number, there's no guarantee that it's actually working. And if it is, those relays are gonna fail eventually. So, and if you try to go to the dealership, a lot of these have already been discontinued. So unfortunately, it's not so easy to obtain this one from the dealership. And if you try to buy a refurbished one, they have possibly relays that are already a lot older. So we basically here uh, recommend to send in your original. We put brand new relays and have it on the way back to you. That's pretty amazing. 48 hours, turn around. That's correct. One or two business days, 24 to 48 hours. And the price is for less than a couple hundred bucks. Uh, it gets refurbished. And a lot of times, if you're trying to find another one that's already refurbished, it can be twice the price, if not more. So I like the peace of mind knowing that if this failed on my vehicle, right. that I was getting it repaired and I was getting my unit back. That's correct. Yeah, it's always good to have your original repaired because it's the part number that belongs in your vehicle and essentially after it's rebuilt, it's plug and play. When my guys are removing this right. to send to you, mm -hmm. how do I go about doing that? As far as this assembly, this is located under the driver's side dash mm -hmm. uh, in between the steering wheel and the center. And as far as troubleshooting is concerned, a lot of times this gets blamed for lighting control issues, which could also, we recommend highly to check the light switch and actually the wires that the harness that goes into the LCM because the pins on it actually get corroded over time and can break. So another test you can do if you have a multimeter, you can check the output of the voltage here for the headlights. And when you turn your headlights off, if it's still showing 12 volts, then chances are this LCM is not at fault. So it's part of a system, but we do see that these fail so often you might as well just get it refurbished and then um, check everything else. Nice. So Ernest, this unit is the one that goes in all the Panther platform cars. The Panther? Woo! That's, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. See, that's a little bit of history for all you car nerds out there. <laughs>